relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. Sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Yeah, we have your partner wants to give up control. Why? What's up, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever can't be. Talk over the intro, you are. I don't care if you're a man or woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'm here. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me. But you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking. Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha no. male. I'm yeah. not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. I'm here. Put it, your buddy. happiness first because if you don't, they won't. Rock! UIBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasting. So, and we are in the building. Uh, Corona, uh, Corona episode. What is this? Corona episode? I don't know. Since I guess we, this would be like the down. third or fourth one. Third or fourth Corona episode. Yeah, this is episode number four, away from each other. And we got a special guest in the building, y'all. First of all, Harry, how you doing? You good? I'm doing good today. I'm I'm not at home because I had to make a non-medical emergency uh, stop at my my folks' house, my dad's house. So I I took the equipment with me just in case. So I'm broadcasting. That's because we don't see, stop. We don't now stop. That, that's what you call inf- efficiency. There you go. A lot of people don't have that. Shout out to Andre. What's going on, Andre? <laughs> oh wait, there you go. I, I had to mute. I had to mute Andre because apparently he was filing something in the middle of the <laughs> intro for some reason. Because I guess the do rag, he's just committed to the entire character now. Listen, yo, there's a lot of negativity I'm sensing. Wait, do you have a sound thing, Andre? Yeah, I know. I just did that to him to shut him up. Oh, okay. Uh, let me introduce my man, yo. Uh, this is my dog. Uh, a uh, comedy, improv, television producer, all kinds of things. DJ, number the hottest DJ in the building. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and and a, and a, and a uh, beige Philip. The prerequisite is now. I don't know if you know this, Cypher, but well, let me just say this. Give it up for Cypher Sounds, y'all. Give it up for Cypher Sounds. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks I for appreciate coming. it. Thanks for getting on it. We, we, you ain't been on it in a minute, yo. I know. I don't like that. I don't I, like that it's taking so long. Well, you know, we you've been things been popping for you, so you could I couldn't get you in. We talked. We you know, he was like, definitely I'm in, but we just couldn't we couldn't link <laughs> and it took a plague. I, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yo. Um the last couple of years I've been really busy. I've been traveling a lot, which is a blessing. And uh now I have plenty of time to do any <laughs> podcast anyone wants to do. Yeah, yeah, I at guess. At this point, if somebody doesn't want to do your podcast, they really don't like you. It's Yo, personal. It's personal. Yeah. There's <laughs> no excuse. If you say no to somebody's <laughs> podcast, it's a personal issue. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't want to talk to you for no an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, Sife produced uh, producing shows and go, um, I got I got to submit for that too. That show because I, I got a good. You know, I got stories. <laughs> oh, that show! That show's done. Oh, it's done. Oh yeah. well, yeah. Yeah, they sliced it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, but that's you know, a hell of a way to say it. I've never heard that they I, sliced yo, it. Yo, I take, I take. They buck fifty my show. <laughs> yeah, they buck <bump>, fifty. <laughs> yo, I don't, I don't, I take nothing personal. Uh, it's one of the, it's one of my traits. I take nothing personal. I just keep moving. I got a thousand things I'm doing. One thing yeah. gets cut, trying to get more. You know what I mean? That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Um, Sipes one of the most underrated DJs in the game. I, I, and, I, and you know why? Because he's humble. Yeah, he's a humble dude. But you don't drop your name in every uh thing like DJ Khaled <laughs> every thirty seconds. 
No, I can't, man. It's something. <laughs> it's something. No, it's it's one of my. It's it's a gift and a curse at the same time. I like who I am personally. I like what I stand for. I like my beliefs. I am a very humble person, but also I am the worst self promoter, and it hurts me in certain instances where, especially hip hop comedy, not as much, but hip hop is all about saying your name as loud as possible over and over and over. And I just have a thing with it. I can't do it. But also I'm fine with, I'm fine with who I am. And I'm, I'm, I'm what they call a kingmaker. Yeah. I made a lot of stars in this game that people know about. And some people don't know about. Who'd you make stars of life that oh, they man. wouldn't know about? Khaled is one. Really? Khaled, when I say I make them, I, I know I, gave them opportunities. I, I've given people a lot of opportunities. I've helped a lot of people. Pitbull, Rihanna, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, but you know, it's 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 just in my repertoire that I like helping people and get to a, a level. I'm the same I, way when it comes to threesomes. Yeah. And I don't you give you give an opportunity. You go, I don't I'm I don't giving opportunities. Promises. I don't give guarantees. <laughs> just opportunities, honey. It's how hard you want to work. <laughs> you can have this and I can show you how to get it. Then, yeah. then tell you me just gotta want it. You, you want two living wives? I could do that for you. Why not? You want you want you want two living lesbian wives? I could do that too. It don't matter. I could eat your pussy, but I, if I can teach you how to eat pussy, then, then you'll eat pussy for a lifetime. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I've been listening to a lot of old. Uh, Patrice, uh, Patrice O'Neill's shows where you were on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was dropping bombs back then, son. Yeah, people don't, you know, I'm see, I have the same thing like you where I just didn't, you know, yeah, you that them, them shows was raw, man, because that was pre, you know, that was when before we even knew how to rock the internet. Yeah, the yeah, way, you know, now you was dropping gems back then, man. And I like that you used to, you used to get into it with Patrice because if you had a different view, you would oh, yeah, show, we gotta would go tell, at it. Yeah, you would tell, and he would always try to shut people down, but you just kept barking through. Well, you know what? Here's the thing: it, it's it's a if Patrice was a funny dude in that. Uh, there's a lot of people, and you probably have this too, where a lot of people say Sife is my man, but Sife don't say, "Yo, that's my not that's my man," but they'll say Sife's my best friend. And you won't say you, yeah, that's that's my man, but it ain't your best friend. Like, mm -hmm. there's so many dudes that will tout Patrice being their best friend that he would have never said, "Yo, that's <laughs> you know what I mean." That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you, you feel me? I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> you got people like that. Do you have people like that? And be like, "Yo, that's." Mm -hmm. Yo, oh what? Yo, that's what and you be like, yeah. Yeah, but I just I just say yeah. I just right, say yeah. I mean, right, I'm right. everybody's best friend. Yeah, I'm fine with yeah, it. Yeah, that's well that's what it means. It really means that very few of your best. So the funny thing is, uh I was one of the few dudes that would talk to him and could could talk to him in a way where he wouldn't just smash him, you know, and I'm just just yeah, dismiss yeah, yeah. him because I you know it came from it came from a true place. Yeah, you know, it came true. from an honest place. It was Many years of hoeing and stripping and, <laughs> and 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 you know having a case study, you know I read the books and all of, all of that stuff too. But I had I had a case study to look through to say, okay, this is where this shit matches up, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I, I remember when I first did one up, right? Um, it was, it was you and Peter and Rosenberg, and we we was like, and we was. Bomb and like it was, we was throwing gems. It was like crazy. It was, it was hot. If you, I don't know, are they still up or no? The one, the yeah. old one ups. Uh, they're not up on our platform, but they're like scattered around. Oh, YouTube like, and shit. Yeah, yeah. One up, yeah. one up is a podcast me and Peter Rosenberg had from High Ninety Seven. It was the first hip hop podcast ever, yeah. and it is like a a cult following. Yep. I Did like you, people. Were you before Combat Jack? Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Before everybody. Wow. That's and crazy. the thing I love about the thing I love about the one Epstein podcast and the one Epstein fans is all all hip hop podcasts that have come after us have given us the credit. That's right. one thing I will say. That's dope. Combat Jack, Drink, Drink Champs. Um. Uh. There's a bunch of other ones that yeah, have yeah, given yeah. us the credit of we didn't get we didn't get the just do we deserve, but we definitely got the credit of everybody saying. We was the first hip hop podcast. 
Yeah, it, it, I kind of, you know, like, so, it, and we were doing that Black, Black Philip, we were doing it in 2006. But it's funny because I, like, I always tell people now, like, especially when a dude's trying to get his game right or trying to get himself together, I always tell him not to listen to, not to listen to Black Philip. Not because there was no gems, but because um, we were angry back then. You know, like, yeah. we were angry. <laughs> yeah. And it was like this, this, this uh, discovery of what we like, we were like, hey, this ain't fair. Like, this don't make sense. And we were trying to make sense out of it. And so we were real, you know, I wasn't angry, but, you know, Patrice was angry about it because he was like, this is bullshit. And I was like, yeah, this is the game. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, this is exactly the game. I don't know what you thought. I mean, did you think it was fair? Do you think it was going to be, I shouldn't say fair, but it, did you think it was going to be equal? You know, equal is different than fair. And uh, um, and that's what we used to argue. So a lot of times when I get guys now, and I'll, I, you know, I do the consultations, the one-on-one -on -one consultations, and guys will go, they'll be, yeah, you know, they'll find me through Black Phillip, right? Because right. That, he, that was such a phenomenon. And they'll come yeah. to me here, and they'll be like, bitch, it's this. And I'm like, yo, dog, calm, all right, calm down. Look, <laughs> I, can, I, get you, I get you, girl, just cheated on you. I get it. Um, but there's a reason why, and, and you being angry doesn't allow you to make, like, if you think about it, nobody's ever made great decisions based, you can't let emotion have a seat at the table. Mm. Whenever you allow emotion to seep in, you make awful mistakes. You even boxers got to be focused. They, they, they can be angry and not like somebody, but they still have to have, it has to be controlled and not, not emotional because that's when you make mistakes. And so one of the things I say, that the only critique I have about that was back, I mean, it's not really a critique because it was an evolution. It was, a, you know, my personal revolution. And because, it, because Andre, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> What's happening with Andre? <laughs> it got messed up. Stop. Your brain or the computer? What are you yeah, talking about? What? what are you referencing? My background. This? Yeah, but why anyway. the noise? Why did it create so much noise? I understand the background. I didn't, even know. Up. I didn't do shit. I ain't talking nothing. I picked my phone up. Oh, okay. All right. And you're back anyway. to there we go. Anyway, uh <laughs> why are you bouncing around? Oh, is the phone slipping? Because it's the phone. Yeah. Put back standing oh, okay. up. All right, well, all right, well, Andre has Andre has really <laughs> lost his mind. During you know this what? Whole the, thing. Yeah, the, yeah. He's Andre. Andre's still in in coronavirus uh, hell right now. He's locked. His mom locked him in the basement because he came home with sniffles. He really hasn't left the house. That's why he's become an inmate from you, Oz. You really? You haven't been out the house since. For how I long have not left this house since what? How really? many days? Not even out. You ain't even go outside for no food or exercise or nothing. In the backyard, but that's about it. That's you get one hour a day, Sife. Don't you understand? You get one hour a day and then back in the hole. <laughs> Look at him. You have to if you're if if you're if you're just listening really to the podcast, losing his fucking mind. You have to go to our YouTube feed. Uh the Man School 202 YouTube feed. I'm posting all the new episodes as they come out. Advanced nigga theory. And, uh, <laughs> Why are you over there? Why are you in the Why corner? <laughs> And you have to see visually how Andre has lost his fucking mind. You really, you really have lost your fucking mind. Like, really he lost your mind. started wearing shit. do rags. He's never, I've never seen him wear a do rag once. Oh, that's a new, two, that's two a weeks new ago. thing. I've been putting do rags because I've been using essential oils. And my girl <laughs> said, instead of cologne, you gotta protect cologne is the devil's, <laughs> this is the devil scent. That's the you know white devil. Wait, so you're using, you're using this quarantine time to get your waves right? Nigga, you all, you get it. <laughs> I'll respect it. I respect it because it takes. I gotta take my shot, Andre. You don't know. At Harry, three, Harry, three weeks. Harry, into this, you don't know I'm, about waves. I know though. about waves. I'm aware of waves. <laughs> I'm saying that's this is far more than just a hairstyle. This is a man falling apart mentally and emotionally. It's like he, the other day, he went and tried to find the toughest person in that he's locked in there with, and he kicked his mom right in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, ah, now I got the respect of everybody in this house. He's running the yard now. He's running the backyard. He's lost his mind. Oh, that's fucking his, funny. His mom's on the phone. He's like, phone check, nigga. Phone check. <laughs> phone check. Losing his... He tried to take his sister's fruit cup, Sife. He tried. Uh, he stabbed somebody with a toothbrush, one of his sisters. Got... That's dead ass funny. Phone check, nigga. Phone check, nigga. He's like, Andre, what the hell are you talking about?
My mama <laughs> always on the phone. She Jamaican. She got, she got, you got the phone check up? She be calling everybody <laughs> long distance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Andre really Wait, so Dante. City. Yeah. Dante, you offer one-on-one -on -one consulting? Yeah, consultancy been doing that people? for like five years. Really? And people, five. Get, people sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and get that. Dog, advice have you? What? All right, let's, 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 all right, look, you my man, but you and I have kicked, you know, we've kicked it about stuff. You really think a nigga wouldn't pay for the answer when his his bitch is cheating on him? Like, Wait, what what's the what's like the you know the top couple of questions guys everything. ask you? Every, every I get everything. I've gotten lesbians. I've gotten I've gotten fifty three year old women who they uh, hug, married some dude who was and helped him get his credit together, and then he went to this dude went to Korea for a job, and then he didn't he married her and professed his love to the family and just now he just met some little Korean joint and he just <laughs> like I'm out um I had a lesbian chick who was in the friend zone so I had to like figure out what the friend so that's another thing is why everything is evolved wow. because wow. so if you you know so you know we everything you know we've always looked at things as masculine and feminine but it's really dominant and submissive so mm -hmm. even in a gay relationship we've had gay gay dudes who got cheated on and called it um uh but it's always the same thing so if you got the dominant lesbian chick and she's hanging out with a chick and you know the chick don't won't re really let her beep or i mean i guess scissor won't let her scissor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can't scissor me timbers and, <laughs> and she's just hanging out going to movies and netflix and without a little scissor a little munching Little carbon, nothing going on, and I'm and and I had to say, yo, it, it was it was crazy to me because I was like, oh shit, this is this this is the friend zone. Yeah, like right, right. So so as so as uh, gender roles evolved, you realized it wasn't always just male versus female. There was yeah. a, a dominant submissive. It's dominant submissive, and even with, and, with with gay dudes, and it's the yeah. same thing. There's the dominant and submissive, and you find that it's whatever in the workplace too. But it's life. still there's a lot of people. You got followers and leaders, and sometimes people either take advantage of that. You know, if even if you work, you ever have that shit where you work, you guys have the same position, and somebody's in charge, even though you guys yeah, have the yeah, same yeah. fucking position. Yeah. That happens. If you let it happen. Yeah. yeah, and 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 and. And you find what about is there something to two gay men even if one is dominant one is submissive they're still men though right? Nah, yeah, nah. They're, Not in this scenario. It's, no, it's because dominant and submissive. Because we his 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 we do what people allow us to do. Mm. So if he's, I mean, if you want to, for lack of a better understanding, if we want to look at what how you would treat a chick, right? A dominant male would treat his boyfriend the same way that you right. would treat a chick, and 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 because the emotion is there, because he's dominant, because he feels like he should protect him, and you know, and and you know, he's like, oh, no, why? And he's like, oh, you go, don't, don't worry about everything. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, like, it's all the same shit. It comes out the same shit. So yeah, so in relationships, it's dominant and submissive. It's dominant and submissive, and that's, don't that's, that's the core of it, right? It just it gets complicated if you're dating a trans girl, and then she's she's really like, oh, and then she's fucking the shit out of you too. I mean, it gets a little. <laughs> <laughs> but then that part of it, it falls, it's it falls apart in that sense of it's still dominant and submissive. Like we had Mia Isabella on, and yeah, yeah. Mia Isabella has like a ten inch cock, but you she know, was, me, all right, Harry, Isabella's, calm down. How you sound excited? <laughs> <laughs> it's a guesstimate. Mia has a ten-inch long one. That, that was it. That was Sife, You know who Mia Isabel is? Nah. She was the dude. The, the, the she was the the tiger was fucking her. Remember the whole thing with Tiger uh, and, yeah. the, tiger, and a, and a tiger trans Wood? woman. No, no Tiger, the, the rapper. Ty. Oh, Tiger. Oh, yeah. no. Rap rap gossip? No, I'm out of the game. Okay, well, hey. I, don't, I didn't know it either until she got here. Yeah. But yeah. it was a whole thing that went online. It was a whole, I don't, I don't watch, you know, like love and hip hop. But I, she, I can't. The, the point is she was, she still had hot chick energy and mentality because even though she's trans, the people who mess with her treat her like a hot chick at a club. So she right. had that mentality of like, 
Oh, this she, is she was like, I'll just call one of my rich boyfriends and have him pick me up with the helicopter. And I'm like, Rich, nobody does that. No, nobody, nobody get nobody does that. You do that. I get it, you do it, but nobody does that. Yeah. And then she was like real <clears throat> kind of, you know, she you know, like pretty girl, like hot girl syndrome, just dissing motherfucker. And then I I so she was sitting across from me and I start, I was like, yeah, get the fuck out. You know, like, you know me. Right. Like, so I start like smashing them and like yo what the, come on get the fuck out of here la, 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 la. and then but in the in the episode you could see where she starts blinking slow like because i because i'm giving her the business you can she's like mm, oh really man so we take the picture at the end we you know we take a picture at the end of the block and and um <laughs> i'm standing next i got my arm just as they go to t- flick the picture she throws her ass right in my crotch like Poof! And I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit, click, click. <laughs> but it's the same, the same attraction that would happen, you know, when a pretty girl is going and she's so used to this attention and then somebody goes, yo, I don't give a fuck how pretty you are. Right, 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 right. Out of like, be a human being. And then call, I was calling her on this. I was like, what are you talking about? You don't know that, da, 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 da. And she was like, I go, you just, I said, oh, so you just dizzy. You know, you just dumb. Like, same what the shit, fuck? same and shit. she was like, hey. <laughs> like, I didn't, uh, you know, I wasn't smitten by, a, a, you know, as high as Harry was smitten by a ten inch cock. I was taken by the girth. It caught me <laughs> off guard. Because <laughs> she used to do porno too. She did porno. Uh, so, well, uh, but you know, it, it was the same thing. But the, but we didn't understand that, you know, two thousand six. We didn't understand that. We were just figuring out. We were trying to figure this shit so we could apply it. It's like do, taking martial arts and then you go punch a nigga in the face because you right. want to see if it worked. <laughs> right, but it's your first class. Yeah, like you punch it, somebody right after class. You right, you like, oh, this shit worked, right? So it was, it was like, and so we were trying to figure that out. And and you know, so one of the things I, I say is, you know, if you can listen to like the Black Phillip stuff as entertainment. But, you know, even you know this, like, like comedically, you been, how long have you been doing comedy now? Doing stand-up? Uh, since 07, 08. Okay, so, so. 12 years. Wow. Well, so it's only 12, 13 years. But if you think about how much you evolved in 07 till now. Uh, oh, I've been, I've been on quarantine, so I've been going through all this old footage, and I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe the I was, shit I was you would do it. Oh my god, it was so bad, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it bad. was all easy, easy. You know, nothing. You know, it's just you getting laughs because you yeah. did you you did well right out the gate because you were used well, to talking to people. You know. Yeah, I had I, I was lucky enough to have already been on stage for many years, so yeah. I had the stage presence and stage confidence. Legs. Yeah. So people, that that's something that it takes like maybe i don't know three four years for first comedian to get even that confidence yeah, yeah. um and i also had a fan base yeah so my shows were packed which probably hindered me in a weird way yeah yeah uh because uh i thought i was killing it because my shows were packed but really i just had fans from another world yeah yeah so and yeah they the, the evolution yeah the evolution like you were the, you were the first hot instagram chick <laughs> like <laughs> 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 the original <laughs> hot Instagram. <shit. laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta check Cypher's Instagram, see if he got any crotch shots. Like, <laughs> nah, nah, watch his clean <laughs> booty sink pictures. <laughs> <laughs> booty just, just like a, a sexy a mistake with, with Cypher with just the, the G string, the bullshit caption. <laughs> <laughs> that would live oh. your life to the best. <clears throat> Bitch, you shut up. Pussy, shut up. <laughs> yeah, but evolution is great though, D. Evolution yeah. is great. Congrats. Yeah. And uh and now you you have a lot of the same advice, but just more uh it's um it's more ex- uh, I don't know how to say it. It's uh accessible? No, nah, it's always accessible. You just have it more formulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'm always working it out, and I'm working it out in my own head, in my own life. And then the great thing about it is, the great thing about doing the consultations is you get dudes, you know, I might get a dude 18 years old that, you know, saved up $150 to talk to me for 15 minutes or whatever, you know what I mean? And and wanted to talk to me, and then 
then, you know, and I'll usually, you know, when I get a young dude like that, he's in college or something, I'll, you know, whatever. I, I you know, that's like I do, you know, I, I'll do 15 minutes at $100. So if you want to talk to me for 15 minutes, a quickie, $100. But I'll, wow. I'll, I'll, I'll get a young dude, dude, and then I, you know, and I'll be looking at the clock because I just can't let it go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just can't leave him where he's at. And then be, I'll be around 52 minutes, and I'll be like, all right, whatever, you know. And he'll be trying to, you know, and then respect, they'll be like, yo, I know we're way over the time. You know, maybe I could send you some. No, nah, like, oh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just get you. You know, I'd rather help that dude. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather help that yeah. dude. And then he tell everybody, yo, I don't, yo, of you, course. Want, of course. you want your shit proper, talk to this motherfucker. Shit, I can't believe it. That's crazy. Yeah, I do two fifty an hour. I do two fifty wow. an hour. It's you know, whatever. I mean, but we were we were getting those questions, but you, I mean, just think about like the problem is why I don't reason why I'm not a millionaire yet is because dudes don't ask for directions. You yeah. gotta be in the desert, one bottle of Poland Spring left, quarter tank of gas with no, nothing in sight for a dude to go, maybe I should ask somebody. Yeah. So right. they don't ask until it's all, till they fucked everything, until it's in shambles. What was, the, what was the call you got the other day or whatever where the guy was like, uh, my wife was hit. He was, I was like, what's up? Oh, my wife smacked me in the face. And I'm like, I, I don't, like, what? I can't fix that in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> my wife smacked me in the face, but you know, and. And, you know, the thing is, like, when you say it's more precise is because, you know, yeah, a wife, like I always say, O.J. Simpson didn't start off by cutting, cutting bitches' heads off. Like, first he called her a cunt. Then he fucking choked her. Then he, he punched in the stomach. Then he kicked her in the stomach. Then he hit her with a chair. Then he cut her off, off her head. So, like, you, gotta he build up. you, gotta you, practice. you don't just start yeah. at cutting it. So when somebody's to the point where she smacks you in the, when, or my wife smacked me in the face, there's all this shit. There's roots. A lot of other there's stuff. There's a lot of roots is. under that, yeah. that that gets it to that point. And one of the things that I found more than anything is like, so one of the things is like, as, as long as I've known you, you always been, first you've been a good dude, but you always have helped people. Thirdly, you've always worked hard. I know you did the improv on your own. And you used to always just reach out and just work to get but just want to get better yeah. and even and like i remember you back in the days i don't know if you i don't know even if you know like that you dj parties that i stripped at back in the days did you know that or no no did no, you, did, you, you remember djing when, they, when everything was a stripper everything had a stripper yeah yeah yeah, well, then you DJ. I was yeah. one of them, you know? Yeah, I'll DJ anywhere. Like, right, I right, right. What's the weirdest right. thing you've DJed, by the way, Syph? Uh The most bizarre gig that you had to take, because, you know, you got you to gotta take the cash to do whatever. No, nah, it's never been about, it's never been about struggling for money just to take just, any gig. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just working, but it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's about, like I don't care. I don't care what you do with your life. Like if you got some wild, weird shit going on, I don't care. That's that's fine. You hire me to do a job, I'll do the job. Yeah. Like I, like um, I remember I used to DJ for Little Kim. Uh -huh. So this is Little Kim came out ninety six, uh -huh. ninety six, ninety seven, right. and, and this is when hip hop was like all New York. And then mm -hmm. there was a lot of stuff going on down south, but we didn't know about it. Right. And there was a lot of stuff going on west coast, but we were, you know, we were kind of separated. But New York was the the focal point. Yeah. That's when we, when you know, when we owned it. I'm gonna. I, I always Kim, say this. I didn't like G thing. It took me a lot of years to like G thing because oh, we were really? all like, "Yo, fuck them niggas." You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we were like, "Fuck them niggas." That's what it was. It was yeah. big. So. <laughs> but Little Kim broke all barriers. So everyone wanted to see Little Kim. I don't care if it was thugs from Houston or mm. or or trap house niggas in Atlanta. Really? Whatever it was, everyone they wanted loved to see it. Her. We got to go everywhere. And mm. uh, we was in Houston. I think it was Houston or Dallas. And it was like a lesbian party. Right. And it was like a lot of trans people there before there was transgender when we called them. Trans. Uh, yeah. Yeah, tran transsexuals, whatever. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and so like everybody in Junior Mafia was like, 
oh, what the fuck is this shit? Why are we doing this shit? And I'm just like, yeah, they want to see Kim. They want to see Kim. Just yeah. do the show. And let's go. So, they, so we did the show. And then every night they used to shout out the hotel on stage so that they could get chicks to go to the hotel. <laughs> and the, the, the hotel lobby would be flooded before we even got back from the show. Uh-huh. And this time it was flooded, but there was a lot of uh, gay people huh? there. <laughs> and they had security. They had security by the elevator. <clears throat> and they would do Adam Apple's checks before you could get in the elevator. <laughs> <you know? laughs> and I'm sitting there dying, <laughs> laughing. like, And they're like, yo, pick up your neck. Uh, like, oh, no, no, you can't come up. You can't come up. That's funny. <laughs> She's like, no, oh, for real, I just got a big Adam's apple. <laughs> but I'm in some weird shit, man. Yeah, it's 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 crazy how that you know that that game changed. You know, like that was a thing, and now you can't even think about how you would like. You know, like I and, and hip hop is grossly homophobic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it just it just the whole bravado of it was, and and it, and it was like. I even got to talk to my mans now who, you know, they're more liberal, but they still say things. And I'm like, dog, you can't, that ain't, but you know, I don't, what I don't understand is that there's so many people in the music industry that are gay or in the right. entertainment industry. And there's so many people in the hood that have always been gay. Yeah. Yeah. That's your, the, your man on the block is gay. Everyone had a neighbor or something that was gay. But then when you get together and do hip hop records, it's like, oh, you got to be anti gay, even yeah. though you know gay people. Like, that's well, why I, I never got that, it. Like, I used to say that all the time. You know, the, all, the, all the black, te- Shelly Garrett, all the black um, plays that would be at the Beacon Theater. Yeah. And you always had some flamboyant gay dude right, at the beauty right. shop, beauty, yeah. beauty shop or whatever. You always had everybody's church. Had yeah. the gay usher or the, yeah. the, the 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 marriage dude? All right, we're yep. gonna get the flowers here. Dude. Everybody knew yeah. that you had gay people in your family. I grew up like my aunt, my oldest son. Like my pops was born in 1920. His oldest sister was born in 1890, right? Yeah. And she she was a caterer. Her husband passed. Yeah, nigga, I'm history. I'm, <laughs> that's right, I'm history, nigga. Look at me in the book. I'm in the book, nigga. <laughs> 18 what? <laughs> 1895, 1890, something like that. Yeah. It's a cotton gin right there. Yeah, nigga, my pops was born 1920. He was the baby of Damn. 16. That's, That's crazy. So, so she remembered the Civil War. No, well, <laughs> no, oh, no. She well, no she, I mean, but her mom, her, 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 her grandmother could tell you. She, yeah. she could tell you about the know. Civil War yeah. and all that. But it, it's um, but she, she, her husband passed away, and she was a caterer. And she used to, she worked in a convent and then she had a house and she used to like that time, like if you were gay, your family kicked you out of the house and you were homeless. And she used to let do gay dudes stay in her house. They would board right, in her right. house and yeah, until, yeah, until yeah. they could get their shit together. So I grew up with, I grew up with a bunch of gay uncles. Like, mm-hmm, like I was only mm-hmm. fourth grader with an ass with a Paisley silk ascot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and cashmere sweaters and all kinds of shit. And that and that sense has continued to this day. <laughs> as you have a rhinestone studded fur coat full leg. I just yes, never blue cared. Fella. I just never cared what anyone does. And that's yeah. that I'm just yeah, yeah. I don't care either way. I'm not sexually or anything like right, 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 live right. your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I had to you. learn to. I ain't start out that way. Yeah, yeah but now you're, you're aggressive. You West Indian, though, right? Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaica. I started out as a. You as a but, yeah, but that's, <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. People, people not Jamaica, but like, if you just born there or your parents are born there, like, it's literally against the law. Yeah. In Jamaica to be gay, so yeah. like you don't know when you're a kid and yeah. somebody tells you something is wrong. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You don't know that. That's why I don't judge homophobic people either. Right. Like they got their reasons, or or or, so, or it's not their fault. Something happened. Some something. Some of this was taught. Right, right. So it's all. It's like I don't. So but that's lack the thing. Of exposure. People, yeah, people get mad at me because like I don't. It's not that I don't care if you're gay or not. I don't care about any of anything. It. Yeah, yeah. Live your yeah. life. So well, I also don't care if you're homophobic. We could be friends because it, it's just something you you know. It's not 
you didn't know whether it was. You right know what? Or wrong. I used to think that, and I and I feel like now I you like it, the way things are now. And and don't get me wrong. I mean, like historically, things are better now. What how you feel like? You're like, hey, listen, I get it. Maybe 10, 15 years ago, you didn't know, but at this point, you know that you statue. Know, you know the what statute the statute of limitations is up. Like you got. I'm not saying. Time. I'm not saying I accept it and it's all good. I'm just saying. No, no, yeah, of course. You of course. know what I'm saying? Like, I check people on it, but yeah, also yeah. I check people on the other side too. Right, right. When a gay person is quick to yell out somebody's homophobic i'm like nah he's just from the midwest like he ain't from new york where we more you know i mean give him a chance yeah well, I, look i gotta say yeah he you gotta give him a chance to get to catch up but he's still homophobic it's still homophobic you can't say so like one of the things that i i i was you know and i grew up on hip-hop in the streets on you just it just and you're right it's because I always said that, like the whole church choir was gay. Like, so how you don't, how you don't, like, you yeah. realize without that, you'd have no choir. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, cause, cause I'm not singing and I'm not yeah. seating people in the church. I'm not gonna be an usher. I'm not doing none of that shit. So fuck you, <laughs> let it do it. But- Damn, son, I did both of those things. <laughs> you mad? You mad? LGBTQ nigga. You I was a singer LGBT. a little bit, and I was on the usher ball a little bit. You mad? I can't tell you mad. LGBTQ between nigga. the pews, <laughs> like you know, giving seat Sister Jenkins say, "All right now." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Look at the disgust on Yo, Harry's Dante face. Yeah, Harry disgusting. <laughs> Yo, Dante when, Chase, uh, Andre I, I has a, too much joy. It, it irritates me for some reason. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I always give credit where credit is due. I, I, I can't wait to one day win a big award because I got my list of people that helped make me become who I am today. And Dante gave me a great piece of advice that still to this day sticks in my head. He's like, yo, um, He's like, yo, when you when it comes to these chicks, he goes, yo, he goes, you you got a job, you're a, a big DJ, you're doing comedy, you do all the things you want to do, you travel, you're well learned, <laughs> you read. He's like, yo, you're way more interesting than a lot of these dudes that these chicks yeah. come across, yo. He's like, he's like, you just gotta show the things you already have. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, when he's like, you, he's like, you a hundred times more interesting than that nigga, and it's always that nigga right there. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Like the thing is, the thing is that you you meet somebody, she don't know you, he don't right. know you. So how does he get to know you? You got to tell him who you are. Now you don't go, yo, I'm dope. I got a Porsche. I got that. But you, through your actions, you tell them who you are. So for some goofy chick who's an Instagram model to go, oh, you ain't really you 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 don't who are you like like yeah. who the fuck are you like why would you think that you're not even dope you just you think you think because other because you got likes you dope but you corny and and here's the thing when it comes down to it nobody stays with a chick just because she's got a fat ass. Mm -hmm. you hit it, you smash, but if she's dumb or uninteresting, or something, you're going to beat and quit. And and it's because you really ain't. The, but I'm look, when it's all done, I, I'm going to take you places you've never been. You're going to hear things you never heard. You're going to learn things you never learned. You're going to meet dope people. You're going to go dope places. But you, you hot. Why? Because mm -hmm. you starfish. For while I'm fucking you, like, like, <laughs> like you're corny. Like, who the fuck are you, really? And and I'm and I'm and but I also was, you know, when we were talking about the the homophobic, I wanted to say I realized that I had to stop. And I, I respect what you say. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. But I realized in order to be, you can't just be not homophobic anymore. Um, you just can't be not racist. You got to be anti-racist. You have to aggressively push the line forward because if your your complicitness is the same thing as you being, you know, put it like no, this. No, it's not the same. It, okay, so let me let me get me. You you walk by some dude is fucking a kid. 
fucking a six year old. You just, yeah. yo, I'm good. Yo, that's that <laughs> live your life. <laughs> you you hey, feel man, what I'm saying? You, you do you, bro. <laughs> you got it. You have to stand for it because, and it, you got to, you feel what I'm saying? You can't go, yo, live your life. I don't, nah, you can't do that. But like to argue that, it's because that, that it's harder to walk past that because the kid has no part where he's able to stop the situation. Okay, That's so what about being. if a gay dude is getting beat up by a bunch of a bunch of thugs? That's separate because you're talking about like a, one helpless party involved with an attacking thing versus two people just deciding not to fuck with each other or two people deciding to like I don't like you, you don't like me. We can go our separate yeah, paths. But if you if we collide, if I'm, that's a different if I'm story. I'm talking to you, and you and you you could you could do you. But here's what it is. If you telling me, if if you if you're racist and you say something racist to me, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's it's about Indians or Spanish yeah. people. I'm yo, I, nah, I'm not. Don't don't and I'm not fucking with you because of that. The other part of that is that when you say it's two people, uh, you go your way, I go mine, usually one party is not doing that. So if you're racist or homophobic yeah, the odds then, are you're that's trying a different to stop, circumstance but that's always the circumstance yeah. you the only way i would know that you're homophobic is that you're you're making a declaration about it in some shape or form even yeah, if you're but not that's like not as long as that person isn't infringing on a gay person's life or like trying to physically harm them or take money out their pockets what if it's a black dude through, how does the, how does racism ever end in a situation where you're not trying to take something from somebody where you're not trying to demean somebody, where you're not trying to take something from. It's all the, the reason why the, the reason why the the, 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 the the those tropes are present is to suppress people. And historically, that's always what it's been. When you talk about blackface, you know, you got my we still arguing about blackface, blackface, minstrel shows, um, and Jemima, Mammies, this, that, the other. Dog, I was watching fucking, I was watching the um the the classic channel or whatever the fuck it is, and they was yo, it was uh, they had my fuckers in blackface. Yeah, like I watch if you watch black and white movies, like I always used to say this, dog. I couldn't, I couldn't watch Casablanca because every time Humphrey Bogart was like, we didn't have the right to vote when that black people have the right to vote, and he goes play it again, Sam, and I always wanted him to go, yo, why don't you suck my dick? I'm going to march for this fucking vote. That would have been a very fuck, different fuck film. Right. I don't know if it would have been. Suck my dick. In the yeah. middle of Casablanca. Yo, man. <laughs> suck, my dick. suck my dick. Humphrey oh, Bogart. Motherfucker. Dick. Bogart this dick, nigga. Sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> but I watched. And then he knocks down the camera on the way out. You're like, why did they keep that in? They could have cut that out. No, I, I watched the original. You, what was the the 42? Was the Jackie Robinson story with, um, Robinson who's the actor? Yeah. The, the the dude this uh, doing it. Chad, Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman. Boseman, yeah. Boseman, so I watched yeah. the original joint. Guess this is how this is how crazy racism was back then. You know who played Jackie Robinson? Uh, who? Jackie dude. Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. Jackie Robinson played Jackie Robinson. They had a little <laughs> black boy to play him as a baby, where uh, as a little kid. Where some white man gave him a, a ripped up glove and <laughs> sent him on his way, and then they, so then they show now you know how many it was death threats, nigga this, nigga that, spear chuck. They were like, hey, there, uh, shine boy, <laughs> like that was the the worst thing they said it was shine boy. They ate some watermelon. Wash your ears with that watermelon. I didn't even know that. So them niggas just tell you wash your ears. Because when you eat the watermelon, <laughs> <laughs> which, by the way, is it's not a thing that happens. Like, people weren't eating watermelon so vociferously. <laughs> they didn't bother to cut it into smaller slices. You don't think black people figured out? No, you just cut? gotta you ship it. You oh, ship it, shit. You ship it around your head like a happening. gyroscope, right? <laughs> like a space helmet. <laughs> but oh, I'm, okay. wa I'm watching this and they're like, hey, he goes, so Jackie Robinson goes to get a kid, you know, he goes to get it, like he gets put on the Montreal team first and they throw him, they playing catch and then they just, the guy just looks at him and doesn't throw him the ball. I'm like, <laughs> it was like, yo, nigga, 
the fuck out. <laughs> like I'm using Alabama sports, chuck spear chucking monkey. Like it, but the whole movie was so unoffensive. It was just like, and then he was like, I'm an American, and blah, 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 and he'll be like, <laughs> first of all, the fact that Jackie Robinson played Jackie Robinson. You know what I mean? Like, if you, <laughs> if, if you did the, if you did the Muhammad Ali story and Muhammad Ali played Muhammad Ali. <laughs> that would be wild. I think that happened. No, he did I, a document. No. I thought he did a movie or something that was his story. It was, it was, it was his documentary. It was a doc. It wasn't. See how Harry don't know black people. He's just like, oh, no, he played I'm himself. Remember. He played himself just like uh, Karef in uh, Waco. Like <laughs> David Koresh. <laughs> no, he didn't play it himself. Huh? Hold on, let me. You just do your thing. I'll look it up. I, I'll leave you by, you I know what you're talking about, son. Um, that. But it's, it's you gotta. You know, I mean, even as in my old, as I'm older, I stop. Like I was like that. Where I was like, ah, do it. Nah, dog. I'm not. I had um. Man, I had a thing. I did uh Vaughn's podcast, and Ali Breen said she was voting for Trump. And I was like, I'm, I'm not fucking with you again. I'm done. <laughs> we, I'm, you know, I, because I can't, <clears throat> I, I can't, like, it's one thing if we're, to, you know, we're talking, we're not talking about the first month. We're, we're talking oh, about. Oh, by the way, 1977, the greatest. Muhammad Ali stars as himself in this dramatized version of his life story uh, up to the late 70s. So there it you was go. A doc, on that. It was a doc, though. It was it was a doc. doc. It was a doc. I, I mean, I'm saying he did scenes, but it was a, it was his documentary. Okay, okay. Um, not, we're both. <laughs> it's not that far off. He played all right, himself. Fair enough. In fair traumatized enough. scenes, I didn't make it up. All right, you, I mean, you took me down a peg. All right, and now we're gonna call oh, the Harry Turjanian show now. I gotta myself. <laughs> a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of these people think I'm white. I'm tired of it. <laughs> sure, I sound like this. <laughs> you got that weird ass mustache. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks worse look, on camera. Look at Andre got little fangs on it. Andre what the fuck? <laughs> you really are. Wait, that, a new, that mustache is a new thing. The whole thing is new. I just didn't have any reason to shape. So this is the first time in a while that I've. Dre, you I, don't, I, don't why, I don't know why people think life stopped because of Corona. Like. Like you see all these celebrities and they got these crazy beards. I'm like, nigga, electricity still works though. Yeah, Why but them niggas was they wasn't doing their own shit anyway. They wasn't keeping their shit tight. Me you neither, think but I still, he, he got I some wall clippers the... in his bathroom? Right, right. You ain't gonna wolf out. You ain't gonna let yourself get wolfed out. No, I take the clippers. I do my face. My hair is bald yeah. and I like it, but. But I well, think also I mean, it's like, it's just to try. I haven't grown a beard, so it's like, all right, what do I look like in a beard? Oh, that's different. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. different. If you're gonna no, grow it I'm out, saying, but you're right though. Is but these people have gotten so entitled to people cutting their hair, pitch, you know, plugging their eyebrows. Yeah. That they just don't. So like I, you, man, when I went, I went, you know, I was losing my hair, and I was like, when I shaved my head, and I used to go to, the, you know, what it costs to get a baldy and a and a and a and a, and a goatee, yeah, yeah. like twenty dollars. Nah. With a, with a straight razor, a straight razor baldy. I'm, I was like, nah, I gotta get. And I, I you know, don't worry. I, I got like a couple buck fifties in the back of my head from uh -huh. using the straight razor, but it, I had to learn how to strap the motherfucker. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, but like, now you I, think you think Dominican dudes are losing their mind not being able to get a, a haircut once oh, they go, every six they days? Go crazy. I guarantee. I guarantee there's uh some kind of underground speakeasy barbershop. <laughs> All I'm doing house is calls and shit. It has to yeah. be. Yeah, they it's rather they rather get a cut. They rather get a cut and risk getting corona. No, yeah. And then not have, like, have their pencil mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Vivalo, baby. <laughs> Oye, qué, qué loco, coy, eh? qué loco, man. Qué loco. Dame un baño. <laughs> Now, there's some people, yeah, there's some people that has to be right. You know, it's, you know, they go, you know, niggas, is, niggas got, somebody got a home visit business to yeah, lace Absolutely. Clippers point. And, Which and the, it ain't that bad, really, if you keep it, no, you know, just one person in there and you, you know, got right. the mask and yeah, all that. But it you got the done. one guy traveling from house to house. That's the no, worst. That's the, no, no. That's, that's the worst thing you could. No, he, he got Corona. He's saying he's taking it to everybody's he's, house. He's traveling house of, to house and getting inches from people's heads and faces. Bunch of Dominican no, babies. 
Yeah. Especially Dominican babies about, with pneumonia. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> I'm talking about there's somebody with a barbershop set up in their kitchen and they take oh, yeah. appointments. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess. But I remember I dated, this, I, made a, I dated this girl and she stopped dealing with this beauty parlor and I bought her one of the, the you know, the overhead dryer joint. Saturday morning, she had 20 motherfuckers in the, in the living room just lined up, <laughs> just getting their weave, getting their, their lace front. She was doing all that in the house. Made more money because yep. we was paying rent anyway. Yeah. So I hooked up with the. I we had, we had a. Was this was a rental too? We had a a, a, a shampoo sink put in. It was like boo 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 boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Andre, what are you taking your shirt? You about to do your reps right now? No, I got hot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Andre. <laughs> Andre, for real, you gotta go outside. Andre, <laughs> you need some fresh air, bro. Andre. Look at me. Look at me. You gotta go outside. You I've been go... in the backyard. That's no. You gotta go. Out, you gotta go outside and walk. You can stay away from people. Just go outside. He goes, no, I got my. I got. I could just do the dips on the bed, bro. I could just use the bed. <laughs> <laughs> two chairs. He got two folding chairs. I He's got my toilet out. right here. Why don't you want to go outside? You scared? You gonna get it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm nah. fucking terrified. Everybody knows how to rock. You gotta just rock, mask and stay away from people. That's all. Don't touch nothing, bro. I have to make like a possible grocery run, and I'm planning like some Call of Duty level shit in my brain to go. Glasses, scarves, double mask, gloves, sanitizer <laughs> in the bottle, everything. Fear is real, nigga. Fear is <laughs> fear is real. I say that all Shit. the time. I, I I would joke about that. I say niggas. I've been. I I I've fought niggas with pistols at least three different occasions, but I'm scared of spiders, nigga. Don't bring no spiders <laughs> around me. <laughs> you try to put a spider on me, I will fight you. <laughs> you I you try to rob that. me with a. You try to rob me with a gun, nigga. I'll fuck you we up. Can talk it but up. if you pull a spider on me, nigga, you can have my wallet, <laughs> keys, my pin code, my my debit. All. <laughs> oh. It's real. It's all relative. That shit is all, all relative. I don't know. Oh, I mean, I just, what? Just now I'm good. saying the stories of how niggas is getting it out of just nowhere is just like I ain't even. This shit is annoying. So my precaution level has. It ain't out of nowhere. They because they fucking up. They fucking yeah, up. Yeah, niggas ain't just. I I had. Yeah. How many? You had anybody? I had seven people close to me that passed. I know. You know, late. That passed. Yeah. You know Laney, right? You know Laney? Yeah. Laney's mom passed today, oh, but not, not Corona. She was just older. But, okay, but, here, so. but here's the thing. <laughs> Why bring that up? He's like, oh, okay. Uh, it, but here's, here's, the thing about, here's the thing about that. Even if you not, it's not Corona, the Corona is fucking up the hospitals so that you yeah, can't yeah, even so get the care. Get and a That's lot of true. motherfuckers ain't even going because they don't want to catch the Corona. So they home. Yeah. Niggas is trying Dealing to do sick. home rem they, Niggas is putting lemons on their chest for a heart attack, right? And sucking they stepping, putting um, tea bags in their shoes, trying to make niggas, you know, trying to cure a stroke. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it ain't, you know, motherfucker. It's, it's shit is all fucked up. You know what I mean, motherfucker. After this shit, you know what I mean, motherfuckers is going to have died. If, if they estimate how many people died non-corona related simply because they didn't go to the hospital or couldn't get the care or whatever, whatever, that number is gonna go through the fucking roof. Cause Damn. They, there's, I know, I know there's some black mothers right there that their son broke their arm and they said it themselves and when he's 15 his arm his arm gonna be all fucked up because niggas ain't said it right yeah, he's he gonna have the scary the house arm he gonna have the Todd Lynn arm that piece of shit, oh, fuck shit. that's the one nigga that should have died yeah um <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's the worse I don't know. Oh, what, really? Yo, have you done any any virtual comedy yet? I don't know. Have you done that? No, Some streaming? no. Let me tell you something, man. Comedy needs the audience. I need yeah. the and people don't realize the energy. You could do you could do some funny shit online. Uh, through not the internet, but not stand up. It's it not, ain't the same. Um, it isn't. It just isn't stand up, and I hate it when people call it like we're doing a stand up show. You're not. The, not the audience, the, uh, it's not a, a, just a comedian thing. The audience is a major part of it. And yeah. no, and listen to me, I'm saying no disrespect. You hear me, right? No disrespect. Mm -hmm. 
but all these live DJs. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, watching a DJ DJ is the most boringest shit ever, yo. Yeah. What the fuck? I if you want to entertain, you want to DJ, you want to entertain people. Cool. Put some visuals up or something like. What about just, what about when you watch the you know when they have scratch contests or something like that? That's not. That's different. That's yeah, different because it's, it's about the performance. Yes, and and watching uh those battles like RZA versus yeah Primo, yeah. that's dope because. You hearing stories, you hearing uh-huh. interaction. Yo, remember in 93, I seen you at the club and I told you I had this song called Cream. And yeah. da, 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 da. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. But just a nigga like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you blend you blending Frankie Beverly. But they, then, they, <laughs> they was doing that before the corona. Like on them EDM joints, the boiler room shit. You yeah, can't still, still boring. Though. It's yeah. still boring. I, I agree, but that's what I'm saying. Like this shit, oh, I don't know why yeah. they always did it. Just watching niggas spin yeah. real quick and yeah, they I have a good it. time. I don't get it. Yo, this this is gonna change the game. It's a lot of mom, you know, there's a lot of motherfuckers that have left New York already. Yeah, yeah like, the landscape's just, gonna look different. Yeah, when they when they start this I'm shit up. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh so, negative Harry. <laughs> I'm fine with it. <laughs> We gotta clear out. We gotta clear. We gotta make some room. Some people who really some of this bullshit. Yo, I hope. I ho- I don't know how because I don't know about money the way that these people know. But I hope the the real estate and the rent goes down in New York because of this. How? Why would you think that would happen? It might have to. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, who's gonna afford to? I mean, nobody's. They, they doing I think it, a lot they, of people. A lot of people left, and a lot of people ain't gonna come here because of you know. Yeah. What Rona. And yeah. and we learning, we learning now that everybody don't gotta go to the office every fucking day. Yeah, yeah. that's this, that's a you know lot of motherfuckers is not gonna so, be in the office no more. So why you gotta have such big office space if niggas could do this from home and every week you rotate a different uh one staff dude go in, in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and this Zoom shit and people having virtual meetings and shit. yo Zoom is the winner of Corona. Zoom is the winner. Zoom, yeah, there's all them Google meets, live party shit. <laughs> Google meet meets and the other one, they it's, it's house party, hang out. Yeah, house party, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's like I'm getting, you know, there's motherfuckers who I've been trying to get back on the show for a long that I wouldn't have got them if it wasn't for this. You know, I got motherfuckers asking my me, shit. can can I do it? Yeah, my shit is like I like I drive in New York. I like driving. Me so too. my shit is always, I always ask, is there parking? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now you yeah. just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still rather do it in person. You yeah, know, there's absolutely. still a lot of things I'd rather do it in person, but yeah. it's, it, you know, the world is shut down. We still have entertainment. We still have this type of shit. Yeah. Well, they're doing the news. And, and that news. RZA premiere shit would have never happened without this. You That's know? on YouTube, right? Is it on YouTube? The RZA and premiere I, thing? I think so. They yeah. They did it on Instagram live and then I think they put it. On YouTube, yeah, that's dope. Um, yo, um, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. It's a good one. Um, yo, uh, Sife, anything you want to plug? I mean, I don't know if anything's going on. <laughs> Your Instagram, whatever. Yeah, at Sife Sounds, man. Just follow me. I'm trying to put stuff up, but like, I will see y'all when this is all over. Yeah, Sife, Sife, man, thank you. Thanks for my son too. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. Well, that's not. That was all fair. Nobody knows yeah. what you're talking oh, about. So, so don't no matter. We know. Off, Dante. No one can hear you. Turn that off so we can hear this story. So, so um, my wife was listening to. I did an episode of Juan Epstein, um, Sipes podcast, and she heard my she heard my my episode in England. She was in in Pimlico in England. No, she was in South London, and uh, she was. Uh, backpacking across America and she hit Harry up and was like yo I'm a big fan of the show because she started listening to my show at the time she was dating this dude who she kept telling him to listen to the podcast it's not a good sign for your relationship (laughs) so and and apparently he didn't listen to and she she came she was back you know how Europeans backpack across America and stuff and she had went to uh, I think she went, she went to a couple places, came to New York, hit Harry up. She wanted to just sit in on an episode. And I was like, how she look? And I was, he was like, you know how you are. Let me let, let me send you the picture. I was like, yeah. She sat 
she sat in, we hooked up, and then she went to L.A. Um, and said she hated L.A., and I was like, come back. And then she stayed with me for like six months. And then she went back to England and back and forth, and we got a little, little Dante now. So <laughs> I'll cut the one up. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. That makes yo. You don't know how much that makes my day, son. <laughs> oh, it was my first. Say, like fifty-three years old. I beat my dad at something else. Sorry, pop. I'm better than you again. <laughs> uh, yo, uh, Harry Drake, Drake, uh, plug your shit, Drake, whatever. Andre D. Thompson. Oh, you don't got to sound so unhappy about it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to go outside. You need to go for a walk. I was going to be man. playing handball outside the, the court park, tomorrow man. for one hour. Play handball. The park is right down the block from your crib. You can't go to the park. Yeah, but what if some sneezy coffee niggas out there? You can see the niggas coming. It's yeah. a park. And you masked, masked up, gloves up. And nobody don't want to sneeze. Nobody don't want to be near you and your COVID ass either. Yo, hey, don't sit me get into existence. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga <laughs> fucking with some obia. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna work on becoming a lawyer from prison, with one book at a time. <laughs> online courses. Uh, I've been working on his appeal. Uh, yeah, uh, on his appeal. <laughs> See, with law books and sharpening a toothbrush, trying yeah. to get furloughed. <laughs> <laughs> Andre's home making sock wine in the toilet. <laughs> uh, for my stuff, you go to at Harry Trajanian. Follow all my social media for all that stuff. But uh, check out the YouTube page for Man School 202. We're uploading this episode and uh, some classic episodes. There's a lot of stuff coming out, and you can enjoy the visuals. And also... Uh, Say, so look how fidgety Andre is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you got to get some fresh air, man. Go outside, man. <laughs> go through a pull-up. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do that. Boss go through a pull-up on a tree. Don't even go to the park. Just pull a tree branch. <laughs> Just take a tree. <laughs> I'm itching, man. I'm doing something. Uh, everything me, the Dante Nero on Instagram. Don't forget the one on one. You need one on one kind because I know you home in the Corona with your lady, and you realize that you settled and you don't like each other. So call, <laughs> call me up. <laughs> Go on DanteNero.com. Click on consult. You can book some time for me. And we can sort it out. At least we get it ready for when they when, when you don't have to social distance no more. You know what I mean? Yeah, stick in the warm. <laughs> Um, thick in the warm. <laughs> um, uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all. Um, tell somebody, man. All right, yo, Sife, thank you, dog. I thank appreciate you, man. you bro. Thank right. y'all. Appreciate it. Thanks. Later, bro.